Hey YouTube, um, it's Cece or Classy Elise. I haven't been on YouTube in a while, so um, I have no reason for it. Just been busy. Um, I moved apartments. Um, I'm in my senior year in college. And it's probably been like a year since I posted, but I decided to get back on and do a post. Um, I just got a sew-in. This is a partial sew-in. Um, I ended up, I know that I was supposed to be going natural, but, um, for some, like, I just decided that I wanted to perm. I didn't perm all of my hair. I permed part of it because I wanted to have that partial sew-in, so I wanted to look nice and flat because I didn't want it, uh, extra curly, like, 4C type curly, so almost nappy. But, um, so I'm just showing you all um my partial sew in um i got a done at charmette in richmond virginia by trice um she doesn't even know that i'm doing this so i'm not getting paid or anything by the hair company or by the hair shop or by the hair stylist to do this video um in my hair i have milky way q milky way it's called egyptian wave um, it's a four tabulous piece. It's actually four pieces. Well, five including the closure. And it's four pieces um, of track. And then the fifth part is the closure. I didn't use the closure. Or Trees didn't use the closure for my hair because of my style. Um, I think it's in there in case you want to do like an invisible part. Or you have a style set for your hair where you will be needing the closure. Um, in my case, I didn't need the closure, so we didn't include it. Um, so, the hair, um, it's really good. It's like a wave. It's not a deep wave. It's like a soft, subtle wave. This is my first curly uh, weave uh, or close to curly weave. I'm used to just getting strictly straight hair but I actually like it I like the bounce that it gives it gives it a little extra oomph to it that I'm not used to so this is it um all I do at night because of work I usually keep it up in the beanie so I put a ponytail holder around it and then I put a beanie on it and then just flip it and put the beanie over top and leave the bang out um because I wanted a little longer of a bang than my natural hair my natural hair is right here this is my natural hair and I wanted a little longer the bang to go a little longer uh, we use Saga Remy human hair because I would need to flat iron this. Um, the Q Milky Way Egyptian, it is 100% human hair master mix. Um, it doesn't shed a whole lot, it's just that I was sitting here playing with it, and so this is how much that came. I don't think you can see. Maybe if I you're not going to be able to see. But it's, like, I can count the strands. So it's not a lot of hair that comes out. Sorry. I just wanted to put that in the trash. Um, it's, the, it was $25.99, um, at my local beauty supply store. So probably if you try to order it offline, it will be cheaper. But it was just, like, a instant thing. Like, I made the appointment Thursday night around 8 and I ended up getting it done Friday around 3. Well, I went to the shop around 3, but of course, I had to get my nails done and everything else when I went to the shop, so it took a little longer. Um, but it's 14, 14, 16, 16 inches. So, Trees did 16, 16, 14, 14. She layered it, of course. Um, and this is how it comes out. You can see that it's pretty long and I like the length because I'm used to getting 14 inches and 16 inches. Um, I've had it 
since Friday. Today is Sunday, so it still looks pretty good. Trace told me that um, to keep it from getting too fuzzy because I cannot curl it or anything. It's Human Hair Master Mix, and you can put a curler to it on a low setting, but I just prefer not to. And I'll probably go to her like every, I'm going to keep it in for a month. So, um, I'll go to her like every, maybe two times, like two weeks. So like the next two times, I'll just get her to like cut it and, um, condition it and make sure it still looks pretty wavy. Um, but she told me that if it starts to look frizzy, I can use some mousse. This is the mousse that I had from my Senegalese twist when I would curl them myself. Like when I would uh, make them crinkly at the bottom myself. So I have a video of that also. But I'm just going to use this. And I've actually started already using it on my hair. And it does actually work. It's called Curled Up Curl Activating Mousse. It's by Smooth and Shine Polishing Company. Um, so I usually just shake it and then just put a little bit and run my hands through it. And then if it's like extra fuzzy, then I will just put a little extra on it, but I try not to. And especially because it's winter, I um, usually do like this, especially up under the weave, because it'll rub against my coat um, a lot. But you can see that it's pretty long. Um, that's really it. So if you have any questions, and oh, she left some of my hair out to cover. But the way the wave is, you really can't tell. It just, yeah, it just looks like it starts at the bottom. So if you have any questions, um, just comment below or any comments or anything. Just leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe, even though I don't blame you if you don't because I don't post a lot of videos, which is cool. If you have any suggestions or if you have any curl patterns that you think would look right with my circular face because I was kind of skeptical about getting it because um, of my chubby cheeks. I didn't want to look too, too fat. So if you have any curl patterns, if you are a chubby cheeker yourself or a circular round face yourself, or if you are just someone that is pretty like aware <laughs> of different styles and different um, curl patterns for circular faces, can you comment below and let me know and I'll try them. Um, I do plan on keeping the four tabulous and until probably about spring just different styles i'm not going to keep the egyptian wave um but i plan on keeping it in until about spring and then getting some braids for summer to go to the pool and things so if you have any comments or any suggestions please comment below and let me know all right it was good good making this video for you all again and hopefully it won't be too long um before i make another one all right bye y'all